fellas in there. Beautiful fish. Well, then I'll pop her back. Just a uh, couple of stringers chucked out. Water's really cold. Temperature's come up a touch, but it's uh, so worth coming down. Well chuffed. Right then, uh, I've uh, been at a couple of uh, shows for Nash and uh, I started talking about me uh, sunken lead, uh, using a tractor lead and to be honest it sparked quite a bit of interest so I thought I'd uh, go through it a bit more closely for you so uh, you can have a look. Right then, we've got a uh, Nash tractor lead and basically what I'm doing is uh, using the silt and the chod like to gain an advantage so instead of having bait what the fish can see and attractions the fish can see like especially in the winter or you're just trying to sneak the odd bite I'm, uh, I'm using the, the actual lead that's sinking into the silt or into the chod uh, for the attraction so basically what I'm doing taking a, uh, a tractor lead which is uh, generally used for the uh, rivers and that got all the little uh, lumps and bumps on it and there's a hole straight through the middle and um, basically what I'm doing taking a bit of paste which to be honest you can use uh, the, the good thing about this uh, method um, it'd be ideal for using uh, on the chod rig because quite a few times you know you'll cast out a chod rig out into the distance and and you can't really put a bag on it as such it slows the cast down so uh, it would be ideal for that as well, but basically I'm using it off a clip and uh, fish it into the silt. So uh, yeah, you can use pretty much uh, any paste, I'm, I'm using the, obviously the Nash Monster Squid to blend in with my, uh, my hook baits and that. But uh, the good thing with this, you can uh, make a paste up out of uh, tiger nuts, any, any sorts of baits. Uh, you know, and if you, if you want the, the paste to rise as well as the attractions, just mix plenty of um, crushed hemp with it, and uh, or you could even make it, you know, really soluble. You basically, you want it to lift, and you want the attractions to lift. So uh, basically, what I'm doing, I'm taking a good pinch of uh, paste and moulding it into a lead. pushing it in both sides like so so uh, basically I haven't changed the shape of the lead I'm just uh, using the, the hole in the lead to carry my attractions but uh, now what we do with that is uh, you're a water based dip something like a, uh, a food food dip that type of thing and uh, the Carpamino, the Nash one, is absolutely ideal for that because you want, ideally, you want your water based underneath. So I'll pop, basically dip that in the water based attraction. You could, like I say, you could use anything. And then next, um, uh, you want something with a bit of oil in it, like, uh, like the Erasers. And that's obviously you can tell it, see the oil in that because it's 
separate it. Basically what you do, you give it a shake. Obviously you could use um, oh, salmon oil, cod liver oil. You know, basically you want an oil, oil to go uh, to go over the top of the lot. So basically what I do now, I've got a little pot with some of your riser in it or uh, any other oil based. I'll dip the lead into that and then uh, and basically that's ready to cast straight out into the lake. But uh, the good thing with, uh, with all this, when you've casted it out, the oil will actually lift the attractions out of the silt, out of the, uh, from underneath the leaves, because obviously oil rises, it drags all the water-based attractors with it up into the water, water layers and uh, obviously draw the fish down. And when the fish come around looking see what's about it because obviously there's plenty of attraction there they get uh, they swim down and all you've got is your, your single up, up bait or in your chod rig so uh, you know it's it's proven itself as a really good method for the winter so you're getting tons of attraction and no food whatsoever so uh, yeah I'd, I'd definitely say give it a go it's uh, it could be adapted for uh, like i say in the summer tiger nuts chod rigs um like i'm fishing it on a clip and uh, I'll drop one in the water and you'll see what I mean about the uh, the attractions coming up up in the water layers because obviously oil rises and uh, so you end up with your water based attractors uh, seeping out and almost smelling the silt up giving the silt a nice uh, aroma for the carp to home in on and, um, and the oil based ones lift, lift some of that as well up through the water layers and uh, and obviously because you've got your, your pace there as well it'll be working for you uh, you know if you cast it in at tea time it'll be working for you over the night as well so, uh, yeah I'll definitely say give it a go it's um, it's caught me a few fish already. Like I say, I've only been uh, playing around with it the last couple of three months. So uh, I think it's uh, beyond to a winner there, to be honest. Uh, give it a go, and uh, and we'll uh, I'll see you again next time. Cheers.